So the problem of self-regulation uh, has been mentioned in the round uh, table devoted to Lev uh, Vygotsky and our research is, is connected with the component of self-regulation. Uh, this uh, is a kind of the freedom is one of the highest psychological functions. So these are three actions. So this is the indicator which can be predicted and uh, their success can predict and identify their success in the future. Then even the IQ that we previously um, discussed. These are the programs that you can see on the slide that uh, focus on the self-regulation issue and its development while uh, knowing as uh, cultural tools. If we speak about uh, self-regulation and what and the uh, regulatory functions, these are the classical components that are identified. Working memory, cognitive uh, flexibility, uh, deterrence control. These are classical components that we study. We can speak that in the recent studies, we know the longitude data that prove that regulatory functions connected with the success of the, the future success, social success, some other parameters connected with the social success. This, are the, uh, this is the attitude to uh, as a person's health and social relations. Uh, building. So we start with the preschool age, uh, where from the point of view of Vygotsky happened the formation of this uh, free behavior, and uh, we uh, focus on the methods that uh, we use to study self-regulation. First of all, so this is battery of uh, narrow complex psychological behavior that is very popular uh, abroad as well. We used uh, the second NAPSA battery. This battery is based on different uh, cultural and historic uh, uh, pillars. Those who know it, there is a net of methods that was uh, elaborated by the students of Vygotsky and the students of the students of Vygotsky. So it is made in the framework of the historical paradigm. So we used uh, Zilaza test that is connected and focused on the cognitive flexibility. It's very simple to conduct. I will not comment on the instructions. It's very wide known and the results uh, allows to differentiate and evaluate as the cognitive uh, flexibility in kids. One of the most important parameters, this is uh, math, math skills, the study of the connection between uh, EF and math skills among preschoolers. So this predicts the success of in the verbal sphere and we conducted the complex study where we reviewed the understanding of the kid of uh, the components uh, of uh, the figure, a verbal, counting, and some other components that is uh, connected with the figures. This is the example, this is the task to identify the figures. Identify the uh, figure to choose the, uh, which one is more. 
связано с умением фактически the structure of the figure is connected with the modeling with the ability to model числа и умением его воспроизводить of the uh, decimal uh, with the fraction understanding decimal figure и основные результаты so this is the selection and main results that you can see on the slide. We identify three groups of kids in the development of the regulation function. Of those we could identify like low, middle, and high. According to the identified groups, we got the corresponding results. You can see them on the slide. On all the uh, indicators Kids with high level of uh, the development of self-relation go far beyond in, in understanding of counting, understanding of figures, understanding the structure of the figure. And those kids, they knew more numbers, they understood numbers, they could count more. Uh, and uh, the kids uh, with low uh, indicators could not... Uh, and, uh, understand the three compound numbers. In other study, uh, the theory of mind, we used uh, the selection and we used uh, two main methods, the subtests that are presented in the framework of the battery that I mentioned, narrow psychological complex examination, and the second one, the test understanding of the emotion that Francisca Pons mentioned yesterday. The results that we got are very persuasive from one side. The regulatory uh, functions can be connected with the cognitive development, with the mathematical skills that I mentioned above. And from the other side, it turns out that understanding the emotions of the other person is connected with the components of self-regulation, with, the, for example, development of the deterrent control. We can do conclusions here, how the development of self-regulation helps to develop uh, the theory, the theory of mind, understanding social, social relations. Another thing is to know the connection between the uh, EF and play in the press call. The play activity in the framework of uh, this is the background for the development of the kid. We can speak that uh, in the play, uh, the area of the development that Vygotsky wrote is a maximum one as the kid here creates uh, his uh, area himself. Another question that we asked ourselves, this is the approach of study and understanding of the game, because we have different methodologies to measure the development of the play, here the background was the play of a, a Irina Olegovna Smirnova, where in the play uh, the main components are being identified. Uh, the, play, the substitution, this is a role substitution, object substitution, and from the other side this is uh, interaction in the play, this is communication between uh, the kids, among the kids uh, within the play, and another one, the idea of the game. Stick, stick into this idea for some period of time. These are the name of the blocks with the several indicators in each of them. What I'll say about the main 
Let me uh, tell about the exam, uh, the conclusions. We see that there is no direct connection between uh, such important notion, so important notion as the role substitution and the development of uh, self-regulation. We haven't seen it, this um, connection. Maybe the selection was not enough to limit it. There was about 50 kids, but there is direct connection between the development of the idea in the play and cognitive flexibility, and we saw there is uh, the connection between the emotional communication of the kids and elements of the deterrent control. Effective communication of the kids is connected with the development of the free behavior in kids. Another aspect that I wanted to uh, touch upon, this is uh, quality of environment and executive functions. So, if we think that regulatory functions are important for cognitive development, for emotional development and for the uh, harmony in kid, it's interesting to see how the environment influences the kid in the preschool center. And with this aim, we used uh, the Ecker scales, which were adapted in the big study that was conducted in the Moscow City, uh, Moscow University, State University, and there was the publication uh, in the magazine a Modern uh, uh, Preschool Education in 70 Regions. So this tool was uh, uh, tested in reliable conditions, and we could use it uh, in the comparison uh, with the indicator of the development of the self-regulation in kids. This is our selection. This is the first stage. So we have increased the number of uh, uh, participants, and we identified three levels of the quality. And the most interesting one was that on the first indicator, the physical condition, let's say the environment, the uh, groups with low quality, uh, this was bigger, that was uh, more, uh, higher than in groups with low quality. We shouldn't do any conclusions, I guess, as the selection is needed to be increased. But unfortunately, this is like this. Sometimes it's uh, material resources are limited and not enough, but they should be used maxim with maximum usefulness for the kids. And uh, speaking about results now, the results are uh, very different. Uh, we saw that in groups with high level of quality, there is some components. There are some components that are de being developed. If we speak about uh, self-regulation, more su successfully, and we saw some components that develop in groups with low quality. So here we have uh, the number of uh, questions which we can answer in our future studies because we have planned them. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.